Hey guys, it's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to learn how to play the intro and all the riffs to Welcome Home Sanitarium by Metallica. So we're going to take a look at all the solos and all the outro sections in, in other videos. So make sure you check those out too because we're going to do the whole tune. So let's start here just with this intro. We're in standard tuning. We've got a nice clean tone going. And we're going to start with the low E string open. Then the harmonic of the 12th fret on the high E string. Then the B string. So we got. All right, now come down to the, while you're letting that low E string ring, down to the third fret on the high E string. You pick that note, then you pick it with the open B string with it. Pull a hammer on to the fifth fret, pull back off to the third, and slide down to the second. All right, then start again. This time you hit the first note you hit is the second fret on the high E string. And then you hit the B string with it. Then the third fret, just the high E string by itself. And then we have an overdub. We actually have the low guitar hitting this, and then the top two strings here, the B and the G, I mean the B and the high E together. Uh, you can hybrid pick that, so just pick the low, note with the pick and then the top two notes there with your middle and ring finger. All right, then we're back to the harmonics. Back to the open, harmonics again. And the last time through the harmonics, go across three strings. All righty. Now we get to this main clean riff, which is uh, not only the big part of the intro where the intro solo goes over, but it's also uh, the verse of the song. So it sounds like this. All right, so it's pretty simple to play. We're gonna hold the second fret on the A string and the fourth fret on the D string. So you get that power chord shape and you can be picking across the strings, hitting an open string on each side. So you hit the low E string open, then the fifth string, and the fourth, and then the open third string. I pick that down, 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 up, so it just kind of sends me back to the low E string. Then move that up one fret, pick the same picking again. Then up two frets to the fifth fret. So we have. All right, now you're gonna play the fifth fret on the low E string and the fourth fret on the A. You're gonna pick across just three strings this time. So you did the sixth, I mean the, low, the E string, A string, and then the open D. They come and pick the sixth string again and slide it down to the third fret. So we have this. Then you're gonna hold that same chord shape you just did uh, up here. So you can pick the second fret there on the uh, A string, then the open D. Then pick the Sixth string again, slide back up to the fifth fret, and then hit the open D string. So we got. And then just start the whole thing over. Okay, so that's pretty much all for the clean guitar parts of the song. So now you just want to kick in the distortion pedal. And for the remainder of the song, well, I mean, he goes back, obviously, when he does a later verse and stuff, but for the remainder of the song, the remainder of this lesson, we're just going to take a look at all the heavy rhythm parts. So I'm going to start here with the pre-chorus. Sounds like this. Okay, so we got some heavily palm muted stuff. Low E string twice, just with downstrokes. These are all downstrokes. And that same power chord as you're holding it, the second fret off the uh, A string. You pick that a couple times. All right, then back down to the low E, then the power chord, like the third fret again. So you're kind of following the same chords you did in the intro. So we have, I mean, in the verse. 
all the way up to there, then move the power chord over to the fifth fret on the low E string, then the third, then back up to the fifth. Then start over. Then he starts opening up the chords a little bit. So it goes five, three, then a real quick five, three, right when it's leading into the chorus. Now the chorus riff sounds like this. All right, so we're going to start with the low power chord here, the low E string with the second fret here on the A. Then the power, two mutes on the kind of muted strings on the low E string. Then you're going to play the power chord at the fifth fret. There's also a three string power chord. I like to play it with my a little finger barring, but you can just play it like that if you want to do that. But I find it easier to kind of slide like that when my little finger is barring those two frets. But it's the third fret on the low E string, fifth fret on the A and a D. Pick it and slide it down to the second fret. So we have it. Then back to the um, low E string hit twice, muted. So. Then the power chord off the fifth string slid from the third fret to the second again. And then you hit the low E string again, and then do another slide on that fifth string. All right, now we have this little descending run. So that first string you hit is the open D string. You hammer onto the second fret really quick and pull back off to the open string. That's the only part of it that's not muted. And then the rest, which is three, two, zero on the A string, three, two, three on the low E string. All right, so all together. Start over. Now after that second slide here off the fifth string. So that's a little bit different ending. You're gonna just do some, um, uh, you can just alternate pick this on the fifth string here at the second fret. Then go three, two, over to three on the low E string. Then kind of muted strings, and then the power chord for the first fret on the low E string. So we have that. All right, so we have this. Just start over. So the only thing that was different, we went back to the same inning that we did the first time through, and then the fourth time through, instead of going sliding both, you slide the first, and then just pick those last two. All right, and then the second solo comes in, which we got, we'll take a look at in, the, uh, in another lesson. So from there, we have a few heavy parts. When it really starts kicking in, uh, the song starts kicking up the tempo and going into really um, kind of thrash metal territory. So it starts with him just going. Straight downstrokes on the low E string muted. Now that leads into this riff. All right, so we start with the A string and the D string open, hammer on to the first fret for both of those strings. Do that twice. Then they just continue chugging along on the low E string. So we have this. Then again. This time you do it three times, and then the fourth time you do the hammer on to the second fret instead. So we have this. So we have this. Now, in between each one of those hammers, 
hit the low E string once. All right, so you kind of continue that. And then we have, um, kind of opens up with some vocals again in this riff. So we're going to start with the zero. You're going to pick the strings now. The zero, the two zeros, open A, open D, then to the second fret. Then the low E, open E power chord twice. Then the same beginning, those little zero, two. And then this time, the power chord you're going to hit is the off the fifth fret of the A string. Then the same beginning and then this next power chord is the first fret on the low E string. And then the same beginning. Now the third fret on the fifth string and then we went three, three, two and then play that. So we have this. All right, so you just repeat that a few times. Now, uh, for the most part, that's what's going on. Um, we have the going on underneath the, uh, the solo that's coming in there, um, the main solo. Now, at the end of the song, after that, um, after the outro solo, which of course we're going to take care of in another lesson, we have kind of a same version of that riff we just played. It's a little bit different though. It goes. So it's kind of similar. We're just go, doing the opening. So we just go hit the chord, let it ring, and just kind of grab your finger. Just it's kind of really you're just doing kind of the two bottom strings and just sliding bo down both of them at the same time. All right. Now the different variation. So you got the same chord, let it ring, and then one, two, three, four. Same thing on the other chords. You hit this chord once, and then jump right back to the second fret. And then open A chord, third fret off the second. When you get there, a bunch of tremolo picking, and that's pretty much the end of the end of the track. So make sure you check out the other lessons. We're going to be taking a look at all of the solos and the outro sections. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'll see you then.